Sean Sport in podcast form. Well, that's the theme to Fox Footy, and if you watch that, you'll see Adam Gilchrist on it these days. When I'm a mad footy, blues supporter. I think Adam Gilchrist. Well, you do these days, and last time we spoke to him, he said Fox Footy about 100 times. <laughs> we will say Fox Cricket another 100 times as well. Gilly, good morning. Good morning, guys. Was I a bit overindulgent? Was I? No, no, it was my... just so you're no, excited, you I think, to you, talk footy. You've just got a very general, just... like a foxy vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good feel. It's a good vibe. Yeah, it's good I'm vibe. growing a fox tail at the moment, it feels like. But hey. uh, no, I had a very stern fox publicist next to me that kept prodding me every time I didn't. Every time I had a sentence without Fox Footy or Fox Cricket <laughs> in it. So we got the desired result there. But anyway, hey, good to chat to you again. And four. Oh, Big day. Big, Big day. day. Hey, Gilly, you yeah. get nervous because we are, of course, talking about Carlton playing um, Sydney at the S, uh, Mel- Melbourne Cricket Can I just say today. thank you so much for telling me? I know, me. you wouldn't have known <laughs> And the Blue Baggers, many Blue Bag supporters out there will be... Oh, oh yeah. Out of the woodwork. Be okay. nervous. I'm just going to start right from the beginning. Blue, bag- blue, blue Baggers. Baggers. They're called the Blue Baggers. Carlton Blues? The Blues, yeah. Just the Baggers. What's the, the Baggers? The Baggers part? The Baggers is fine. Just, uh, uh, look, That's and coming yes. out of... Not just coming out of the woodwork, coming out of every nook and cranny and crack you can find. We're, <laughs> we're, we're rearing our heads up, aren't we? But uh, it's been a while. But, uh, yeah, a little bit nervous, I must admit. I think, um, I reckon tonight could be the hardest game of the finals for them because it's been so long. If they get through this one, anything's mm. possible. But uh, Sydney know how to play finals, don't they? But, but I'll be set. I'll be uh, parked up on the lounge. It's, it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. You mean Most... you're not going to the game? No, no, no. Do you no, get no, too no. nervous? Do you not like going to responsibility? I oh, know. I'd, I'd love to be there, but Mel booked in a weekend away with a whole bunch of girls about a year ago. And <laughs> oh, do you reckon I'm going to say to her, sweetie, cancel that one? I'm just ducking over to Melbourne. Yeah. So my name's Gilly, not Philly. Come on. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, gotcha. I am parked up on the land. That's the thing. Most most blokes don't like their partners going away because it means they're going to stay at home and look after the kids and do all the all the other stuff that sort of usually that, that's picked up by Mel and ticked off and all the schedule. But, yes. Mate, I'm on the lounge by myself. Well, not by myself. With Ted, our 12-year-old, yep. he's the only Carlton supporter in the house. All the others are doing stuff. Harry's performing at Whopper. He's got opening night. I don't care about that. Carlton <laughs> are playing in the final. So wow. right, we are in heaven. Teddy and I tonight, I can see it already. It's going to be unreal. Got all the beverages and all the snacks lined up. It's going to be big. Do you think maybe um, it would be helpful for you to tell Mel how much in the way she is sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> that normally goes down yeah. the world, my house. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's beautifully. No, we, we, uh, we, we divvy up the, the, uh, the parenting in mm. equal measure, mate. But yeah. um, yeah. hey, just actually on another note, what, um, mate? Mate, you were very funny yesterday. <laughs> just, on. just this one time. <laughs> It's, 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 a, it's a rare occasion that you're funny, but you were funny yesterday. <laughs> Gilly <laughs> texts uh, me during one, the show. One, yeah. Is that what one was over? The it, it was funny because Nathan goes, Gilly just texted me. And like he didn't understand. I said, no, he's repeating what you yeah. said. So Gilly, I said, Gilly just texted me when you've done the work, you want the credit. And he's laughing emojis. And I said, what's that about? And I said, no, so, it's something you just said. You said it. <laughs> so it was when, some, when, somebody, when somebody else yells at your name, uh, someone else's name during sex. And I was like, yes. well, no, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, if you've done the work, you want the credit. <laughs> so yeah, that, was a, that, that was a ge- genuine driving along the road chuckle moment. That so, uh, hey, Gilly, we were talking well about... Well played, you. Oh, thanks, mate. You were talking about nerves before, right? Nat touched yeah. on it, so you know, maybe you're too mm. nervous to go to the game. Have you been in your life, because you're a big fan of sports but also a sporting legend, more nervous going to play a game that you're doing yourself or more nervous watching a game that you really invested Wait, in? And where you can't control the outcome, you're just watching. It. Yeah, it is a, an interesting one, isn't it? I, I think I, I'd have to say probably more nervous when you've got to go out and perform, yes. particularly early, early on in your career. But yes. but um, later on when you don't care. <laughs> no, well, well, when you don't care, you know that's time to walk away, yeah. and give it up, which that that was fine. But uh, but I, I think the thing that or a game or scenario that does come to mind instantly, particularly. I guess while it's topical, and was the Carlton Collingwood final round match last year? Oh where yeah, Carlton had been in the eight the whole year, and yeah. it's like here we go, ten years or nine years, with, and then that last minute and a half was like as uh, described by some, the Grim Reaper turning up. It was a slow death. That that was horrible. <laughs> if you if you support it, the other the other place where you do get horribly anxious and nervous is watching your kids play sports, yeah, particularly right. cricket, which is the most ruthless of sports ever, where they 
it's all good until about under 12 because in this modern day and age, you know, everyone's a winner. Yes. Um, they, go out and they, they, can, they can get out 10 times, but they still stay there for a yes. certain amount of time. Yep. And then under 13, the real rules out, kick out. in. Yeah. Yeah. That really sorts them out. But that's a horrible feeling. And when it's, it's first a, ball or something, it's like, oh. First oh. ball, uh, it's a twist in the guts, that yeah. one. So, um, yeah, but other than that, sports. Good for the sport. It's great. <laughs> it's just weird because you said you get nervous watching your kids. Was Sean just gets angry and swears a lot. Yes. <laughs> oh, Gilly, in trouble. Gilly, Gilly, you've coached the boys at all with cricket. I know you've helped out in footy sometimes. Have you coached the boys in cricket along the journey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Each each at their various age groups. Or under, I sort of do it till about under twelves or thirteens, and then. Uh, let the experts take over, and I can sit back and just watch. But yeah. um, I think the oh, experts would probably think you're an expert. Well, what you know I what do, I, mean? <laughs> I come in when the kids are old enough to handle to the swear at. I think that's better. <laughs> what are you talking about? We just talked earlier on off air about how you let your children watch Kick Ass and how old were they? Six. Uh, the, the youngest was six, the youngest was six. People were seven. And then Sean yeah. had seen the bit where the young girl in there who just murdered someone a lot <laughs> dropped the C word. And Sean went, oh, yeah, this is fine for the kids and walked out. I, know. Oh, I, know. I enjoy. Um, I actually enjoy being runner for the footy team probably more than the career coaching. Yeah, right. because it, uh, but I just keep getting in trouble from the umpires for being out there too much because I run out and deliver a message. And Get then a few touches. Think, Geez, it, well, no, it's just a better angle to watch the game when you're out there right in the middle. <laughs> run out there to run water, Natalie, yeah. and then he's bad at 100. Yeah. <laughs> That's footy. No, Gilly back. Oh, footy. sorry, footy. Yeah. footy. <laughs> it's kicked three goals. Well, uh, speaking of cricket, by the way, Gilly, um, the yeah. Aussies' great T20 um, performance, 3 0. And also last night with Ashton Agar, he's not getting much of a mention. I know that Mana Slabashane scored 80, but fantastic effort. Yeah, by and the he boys. came off the bench too. He wasn't really even playing, was he? He didn't play no, no, Green. Green yeah. got concussed. Yeah, yeah, but they, they've got a bit of momentum up that, that group. And um, you're right, Manus just like literally the day before left out of the, the squad of 15 for the World Cup that's coming up in India in about um, a month's time. Uh, but jumped in there beautifully. Uh, but they're well led at the moment by the big bias. Aren't they just? Boy, Mitch Marsh, he's on fire. I had a couple of chats to him during the week. He is so, I mean, he's a pretty relaxed character anyway, but... Yeah. Um, talk about a bloke that's just on top of life, not just his game at the moment. But uh, And I was doing an interview with him for a, a podcast that I'm doing, and at the start of the interview I said, Mitch, how long have you got, mate? Oh, about 15 minutes, and then we've got a spin bowlers meeting. And I went, okay. So we, we, we chat, 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 and we're about 25 minutes in. And I, I went, oh, Mitch, have you got to go? I guess, Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm captain now. All good. Keep chatting. So <laughs> I can do what I it. want. <laughs> it seems to have sat with him really well, Gilly. Yeah. You're right. Um, what do you think that is? Uh, I think oh, the journey he's been on to, yeah. to get back into the team, he went from as being what he claimed the most hated, hated cricketer in yeah. Australia about yeah. five, six, seven years ago. And there was just this, uh, I don't know, this um, push against the Marsh boys. It was. They from didn't the Eastern States, yeah. Picked. Yeah. So... And then he was in and out and in and out and injuries as well. But um, And a bit of maturity, I suppose. You grow up a little yeah. bit and, uh, and appreciate it. But through all of that time where he was always one of the most popular players within the group, he's just a um, terrific teammate, terrific bloke, really. So, uh, And he's a, he's a lot more, has a lot more cricket intelligence than what he might, he might have portrayed early. Yeah. Um, yeah, but now he's matured into it, and it's it's wonderful to see because they're just such a beautiful family and, and um, good guys. So good to see him succeeding. Yeah, they yeah, play their junior work. footy at Willerton, everyone, 6155. <laughs> hey, Gilly, thanks so much. We really appreciate your time, as always. Fox Cricket, yeah, Fox, Fox Footy, footy Fox, 504 Fox, tonight. There you go, Fox yeah. City, Fox, yeah. Fox, Fox. So us, I'm from here at Nova, 6008. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. To Gilly, also 6008. <laughs> thanks, Gilly. Next, next time I chat, next time I well, chat, when I was on the Fox tour over there, I, I did go in there fully equipped to any radio I did, any podcast I did any of the social media stuff, with my Prairie Fire beverage. I'm going to bring it down next time okay. I'm on, and, okay. and we're going to sample it. It's, yeah, it's, so this is the tequila and my Tabasco. Yeah, it's yeah, like that's moonshine, right. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, can, what, are, what are you doing no. next week? Next week? Can you come in next uh, week? We'll have a crack. 
I'll see if Mel's back from her trip away. Sure. If I can. Can I go, no, Gilly, while you're in his diary? Gilly, can I exp- just tell you what you're experiencing right now? And he does it to people around this building. Yeah. He what? tries to trap them into social engagements <laughs> <laughs> by point blank asking them to do something and then they, you watch them and they don't. Well, I don't want to do it. <laughs> and, and Sean stands there with a really happy look on his face like they're right to say yes, yeah. and then you can see they're scuffling their shoes and they're looking around. And, oh, look, a bird. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like you asked me on a date there. So I know, a little bit. Yeah. You know what, because he knows the answer is always going to be a no. Yeah. He's and just hoping for a yes. Also, like also, he heard Mel was away. So, you know, you never know. You never know your chances. Um, good so, on you, Kelly. Well, get, get your people to talk with my people yeah. so we can see it up. Right, we'll see man. you soon, bud. Well, the footy finals are kicked off and we need to speak to an absolute legend, Matthew Pavlich, formerly from the Fremantle Dockers. You can see him on Fox Footy as well, Channel 9. He's done it all. But recently, everyone, mm. he's been in NYC. The G'day, NYC, Pav. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Hello, guys. You got me? Yes, yes. Oh, we got you. Yes, Pav. Are we coming through Sorry. clear, Pav? Yes. <laughs> Have you got us? Well, you know, just um, I'm still getting over my jet lag. Oh, <laughs> being... so were you like in New York for three days or something? It seemed a very quick trip. Uh, are you stalking me? Are you? Yes. No? Okay. Yes, um, well, first, well, firstly, um, my lawyers will be in contact. <laughs> uh, secondly, um, no, it wasn't three days. I, I was there for a, about eight nights. It was yeah, a bit right. of a whirlwind trip, um, which means that when you get back, or yeah. you, when you get there, firstly, your body clocks all over yeah, the shop. Yes, um, yeah, I, yeah. You need a you good, Sean. You're good like this. You need a good night on the source to sort of yes. sort you out. Yeah, have a good night knock sleep. you out. Yeah, and then uh, and then you're set. But it's been um, it's been a bit of a brutal return home. Lauren, Lauren's um, 40th year of celebrations, and her brother lives uh, in New York. So she's been she went to San Fran first, caught up with a friend, and then went to New York. I joined her for just over a week, and then I came home early. So. It's been a big three weeks of travel and juggling kids. Um, so thank you to Lauren's mum and dad and lots of the uh, babysitters and school support to help out with the kids. But uh, it was a great trip. God, you need it. Pav, when you're travelling, say, New York, did anyone recognise you? Because you don't realise how many Australians are around. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a couple of Aussies that spotted us um, when we were actually going to the Broadway show at uh, Hamilton. So that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It was a bit... It, it was a bit of a, uh, well, g'day, Pav, how are you? It was, it was, yeah, it was that's great. Right um, and you know, well, you know what's great about that is you're going to Broadway, you've never looked fancier, Pav. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what, like, this is a, you know, the US is actually quite understated and, and casual the way they dress. I think it, I think Aussies almost dress up more than, oh, than really? Yorkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like the general, the general cats getting around the street, either to and from work, like, you obviously got, um, uh, every now and then you'll spot someone who's looking really snazzy. But generally speaking, people are just getting around in jeans and or yeah, shorts and runners. It's, uh, it's pretty cash. Mm. Did you catch the subway? I've always been intrigued mm. by the yeah. subway. It's good. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, it was, um, well, this time of year it's hot and humid. Yeah. And, oh, down you know, there in the subway. Pretty, yeah. pretty dirty. Um, yeah. Yeah. We, we went out and caught the US Open tennis on the second night and it's sort of a bit of a schlep from the city. Um, uh, out there, it's about a forty-five minute, fifty-minute um, subway ride, and the problem was there was um, so the, the baseball stadium, the Mets Stadium, is right next door to Flushing Meadows, yeah. Yeah. and we were going there in peak hour. So yeah. literally, I was in someone's armpit, a uh, big, big dude's <laughs> armpit, um, and Paul, Paul Lauren, Paul Lauren always had her eyes taken out a couple of times from bags and yeah, things, no but. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy, but look, it's an awesome system. It and, is. Um, it, it works so effectively and efficiently that you can, you know, be a couple of minutes late, but then um, it doesn't matter because there's, there's going to be always a, another train coming. Oh, I, see, yeah. I suppose the only reason I ask is that all I, I mean, all, all you ever read is just horrendous things that happen, or like crazy things that happen. Yeah, on but you the get subway. to go down yeah. there and see some of the world's great artists performing, yes. like. And um, also, there's no news in person travelled on Safeway uh, on subway. Yeah, safely, I get, nothing I get happens. How news work. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Pav, uh, footy finals kicked off last night, so we're we're absolutely cooking at the moment. Not a bad game uh, last night, but how how disappointed from a Melbourne's point of view when you have sixty nine inside fifties to thirty. Well, that's the that's the storyline. So you know, all the Collingwood fans will be up and about and happy, and so they should be because they they began the the game really well, and then they just held on for dear, dear life. They got out to that four or five goal lead, um, and then just defended like their life depended on it. Um, Darcy Moore, Nathan Murray. Um, uh, Murphy, sorry, and also Isaac Craner were, were fantastic for them down back. But Melbourne um, dominated the game after quarter time and should have been 
definitely closer at half time. You know, I think they had um, you know, almost 15 more inside 50s in that second quarter. And then it was 19 inside 50s to four in the last quarter. Yeah. They just, one, they couldn't kick straight, and two, they just couldn't take their opportunity. So it's a, they'll be ruining their missed opportunities. But um, it, was a, it was a good game. Look, it, it looks low scoring. It was a bit scrappy, and there was you know, a bit of wet weather around. But geez, it was a hard battle, and um, you know, 92,000 people. And it'll be packed again tonight for the Blues and Swans. Carlton back in the finals for the first time. In over 10 years, yeah. um, the, the Blue Bagger Army uh, will be up and about in Melbourne today. Don't worry about that. Lies on straight and everywhere around. Oh, yeah. Be covered in colours. And <laughs> Could you just imagine? So it'll be um, a huge match. So that's a good one. And then tomorrow, um, Ross Lyon, his team's back in uh, to the finals. St Kilda up against the Giants. And then finishing up with Port Adelaide and, uh, taking on Brisbane up at the Gabba. Should be a, a cracking weekend of finals. Hey, Pav, I just saw Ross on the on Fox, uh, might have been this morning, and he was pulling out his Rossisms, which oh, is yeah. a great. So yeah. People were saying, oh, you had such a great year. You were out of the finals. Now you're in it yeah. for the first time in ages. And he said, oh, a lot of people think we might have uh, exceeded expectations, but we're just fulfilling um, uh, potential yeah. is the word. Fulfilling possibility, potential. I think possibility. he uses. Possibility. Possibility. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. We've got a possibility mindset. Yeah, he's got all the one-liners. Um, and, you know, we'll take the emotional risk. We'll, you know, it's all about effort and all the, all the things that he talks about. Do the cobbling. But it's, the cobbling. <laughs> yeah. but it's, but it's so true. Like, I, I think um, for, for as much as criticism as Ross gets for some of his um, eccentricities, he, he sets an ethos within the playing group. He holds them accountable. Um and he really empowers his leaders to lead. And so um, I've been a big advocate for Russ for a long time. I know um, there's, there's you know, things with his style that uh, rubs people the wrong way. But what he does is coach well, and he sets a system that's really hard to score. The Giants score effectively, and they move the ball quickly. I am sure, I am positive that Russ will have a plan to stop that tomorrow. But um, I, that's probably the hardest one to pick. I think Brisbane should knock off Port uh, yeah, at the Gabba. They haven't lost at home all year, uh, the Lions, and I think that will continue... Um, I think Carlton's style gets wet and um, windy and, and a bit slippery there at the MCG. That should suit their contest and clearance game, the Blues tonight. Um, but the Giants and Saints, that, that should be, I think, the closest one uh, of all. Good all right. on you, Mav. Thanks very much for your time, as always. Good to have you back in. Hope you shake the jet lag soon. Am I going to see <laughs> yeah, you Yeah, I'm just going to well, Let, let's all get on the sauce tonight, shall we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever gets you through. Uh, by the way, did you buy us anything from New York City? Yeah, I got you one of those uh, I Love NY T-shirts. <laughs> oh, really? Perfect. Um, uh, and, a, uh, and a little miniature Statue of Liberty, Liberty for well, it. Well, that's better than what anyone that goes to Bali gets me. I always get yes. brought back a wooden <laughs> penis bottle opener. <laughs> they get bigger and bigger, don't they? He wears them <laughs> out, though, don't <laughs> worry. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Fab. <laughs> Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au. 